Hello there, and you join me at a very special moment for me as I've just crossed into Norway. Here, at the north tip of Europe, in the Arctic Circle, and it's just extraordinary. Just look at this behind me here. Just fantastic scenes. I don't have long here though. I've got to be back into Finland and back into Helsinki very soon. So I've got a long drive and a flight to catch to do that. So I probably only have about two hours here in Norway. So I really want to make the most of it. Uh, but thankfully there are a few nice places to stop by the side of the road. So I'm actually set up for my first shot. And I think it's important at times like this, when you're not familiar with the location, you have limited time, when you get into a landscape, you need to try and make the most of it quickly. And to do that, what I always do is I'll try and find things that just instantly grab my attention. That might be because it is a fantastic subject, like a mountain or a lone tree, or it might be because of the light. The light alone doesn't necessarily make a good shot, but it certainly can help. Thankfully, in this scene, I have both of those things with this bigger mountain with a nice peak with beautiful light striking it. I then have that peaked mountain and that then into that sort of leading edge of the top of the mountains there as it goes down and down and down eventually into or meets the horizon down at the bottom. It's just a nice line across the horizon with some beautiful light, some interesting cloud and I think it's going to make a really nice shot. So I'm down here set up so I've got the camera on the tripod. It is fairly low down because of the sort of bank that I'm stood on. But what I'm gonna do, I want to just keep this really simple. That is my subject, that mountain, as it goes down towards the horizon. That's all I'm going to have in the image. So I've got the 24 to 70 millimeter lens on. I'm at 50 millimeters roughly. I want to smooth that water out and maybe add a bit of an ethereal feel to the cloud. So I'm going to go for a long exposure. But before I do that, I first want to get my test exposure. I'm at f11, 320th of a second, because it's very bright, I'm at ISO 100. So I'm pretty much focusing straight onto the mountain. Let's just go ahead and take that test shot. Have a look at that as my back and my knees hurt. Yeah, I mean, it's a really nice composition, but I think this long exposure is gonna work really well. So I just need to punch my time into my phone. I'm not gonna show you that. I know it needs to be a one minute 43 second exposure, which I have already input into the camera. So I just need to attach, it's a 16 stop filter because it's so bright. Um, a 10 stop filter would only give you about a 30 second exposure, maybe a bit less. So let's go into bulb mode. I've got the two second timer in, I'm focused on the mountain. Let's just go ahead. There we go, two seconds, bam. And we just need to wait one minute and 43 seconds to see how that turns out. But, oh, wow. I could spend just days just in this spot, but I've got about half an hour here. <laughs> Wow, this is absolutely extraordinary. As I've just arrived at my second spot, look at that. Oh my goodness, it's just all around beautiful sights. I've just come along the coast a little way to get to here, and I think it's a more spectacular scene than the first one. It's so different to Finland from last week. It's just incredible. It's such a shame I don't have long here because it isn't the ideal conditions to shoot in. Uh, that mountain is instantly grabbing my attention. I can't stay until sunset tonight though, partly because sunset's at midnight, but I still think I'm gonna make something pretty decent of it. The light on it still looks great. Peaked with some of that cloud. I'm gonna do something with that. So I'm set up for my shot. It's just a fantastic shape. It's got a huge peak which just looks really, really interesting. It's got some of that cloud around the top of it. It's got some of that beautiful sunlight on it and that needs to be my subject. So I am probably gonna shoot it twice. 
one with a wide angle and then one a bit closer in just to really make the most of it. But first up, I'm going for the wider angle. So I just wanted to get that kind of classic wide angle landscape shot going with beautiful subject and background interest. Some nice mid ground in terms of the sea. So I'm just been hunting around on this beach to try and find some interesting foreground. And that's what I've done with these two quite large rocks here because they've got some barnacles on there. There's a little bit of water still on there, which adds a bit of interest. I've then got this sort of bank of seaweed going all around, which just adds another layer of interest to the composition. Now, with the sort of range of mountains here behind me, this, this one here particularly isn't particularly interesting in the image. So I've experimented with shooting it vertically, which does work and cuts out the mountain here, which I don't particularly want in it. But I think what's gonna work even better is a square crop. So that's exactly what I've gone for because I w there is still a bit of interest to either side of the peak, which I'd like to get in there, this mountain here particularly. So a square crop is gonna let me get all that in and then let me get the sort of story from the rock to the seaweed to the sea and then up to that mountain. Right, let's come round to the camera. I am pretty much already composed. Settings wise, I'm at F16, ISO 100 and 1 40th of a second. But because I've got the shoreline in the foreground as well, I don't particularly want that harsh line of waves. There is gonna be a line regardless of what I do, of a white, the foam but I'm gonna do a long exposure to extend that exposure time just a bit to just soften the line of the, of the waves crashing into this beach, but also to smooth the water out, which will give that nice ethereal feel to the, images which, which, to the image, which I like so much. It may also add a little ethereal feel to the cloud over the mountain as well, but it's only gonna be a 25 second exposure, so I won't probably see too much movement in there. Right, I'm focused in on this rock here. I'm at F16 to make sure that everything is sharp. I'm going to flick into manual focus and then just pop the filter onto the front and then adjust the exposure time to 25 seconds because I've already worked out that that's what I need. And then I can just hit the shutter button. Don't need a timer. Two second timer on the shutter. And there we go. Just need to wait 25 seconds to see what that looks like, but I think it's gonna be really nice. It's such a beautiful scene. Let's have a look. Right, next shot now, and it's getting very windy, but I'm going to use that big rock there in the image as well. It's probably about seven feet tall, about four feet wide. And I think it's gonna work really nicely in the image along with that mountain because I've shot the mountain quite a few times now. I've gone in close. I did a long exposure using the shoreline as a bit of foreground interest. The problem is, is it's so windy and with this travel tripod, there's a bit of movement going on. So I'm not sure that's gonna work. Now I'm gonna turn my back to the wind so you can hear me properly. It's a very straightforward composition. I've just got the, the mountain over to the right-hand side of the frame, and then I'm balancing that out using the rock on the left-hand side. I've then got the shoreline coming into it as well. The cloud is now clearing off the top of the mountain, so you can actually see it and see that beautiful triangular shape of it better than you could before. So it's working really nicely. Shame that I'm not here a bit later in the day when the light is warmer and I might get some colour in that sky, but can't complain about that at all. Right, I'm pretty much set up. I am going to put the 10 stop filter on the front again. At F11, that's given me a 10 second exposure time. I might actually just knock it down to F8 uh, so I can just reduce the exposure time a bit, maybe to four seconds. That will just let me smooth that shoreline out a bit. So I'm going to hit the two second time. I'm ready to shoot. I'm going to cover the lens to stop the sun getting in it like that. Four seconds and then we'll take a look. Yeah, that, that four seconds has worked really nicely there. It, it just has that feel of the Nordics basically, of the Arctic. It's 
oh, it's just really, really nice. Uh, I think rather than try and describe it, I will just show you to show it to you. But ah, yes, I'm very, very happy with that. This place is just stunning. What an amazing two hours I've had in Norway. I've hopefully got a few good shots, but I really want to just thank Loop Deck for making this possible. They make the photo editing console, which I use, and they brought me out uh, and let me explore around the Nordics. So thank you to them. I'll put a link down to the Loop Deck below, and I'm going to do some work with them in Helsinki tomorrow. So let me know what you think of this video. Like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment, and I'll see you on another one very, very soon. I'm Adam. This is First Man Photography in <laughs> the extraordinary Norway. Out. <laughs>